Science Mod 10.2 is released for the Sprint Galaxy S3. Also, there is Science Mod 10.2 for the Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, US Cellular. Uh, pretty much every single variant of the Galaxy S3 has CM 10.2 right now. They are nightly. They will get updated every night, and you don't necessarily have to update every single night. But if you have a moment and you're bored, definitely update. It's always good to update. But So I'll have a link to every single variant of the Galaxy S3 in the description below, and you'll just click on your model, and you'll download the zip meant for your file, the, the CM 10.2 zip for your phone. And the G apps are all the same. So you'll just flash the 4.3 G apps no matter what device you're on. So let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is download this app from the Google Play Store. It is called Goo Manager. It has a little green box with goo.im in it. Just press on it. And then you're going to press Menu, Install OpenScript Recovery, press Yes. And then it's going to say Confirm, Download, Reboot, and Install. It doesn't always reboot. And in fact, I rarely ever see it reboot. Just know that it's a possibility and it could. Just press yes, and it's going to start a little countdown, and then it's going to go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then it's going to download the dot .image file for your phone, and it's going to update you to the latest recovery. No matter what recovery you're on, whether it be um, a lesser recovery that has more issues, uh, this will get you to Torp recovery, so I highly recommend doing this. In my honest opinion, it's the best recovery out there, so it doesn't take very long to download if goo.im is running optimally which usually it isn't unfortunately it's just going to automatically say recovery is being installed here in a second there you go installing recovery image so you've got the cm 10.2 zip remember you got to choose the right one for your model i have the sprint one so it's the d2 spr the verizon is like the d2 vw or something like that so uh, we're gonna go ahead and power the device off if you know how to get in recovery manually and you can do it through the ROM, just go to, uh, not flash ROMs, but reboot recovery and press yes. It'll automatically reboot you into your recovery. But if you are stuck in a position where, and let me show you real quick that we are on 4.2. So about phone, uh, 4.2.2 right there, 4.2.2. So we're just going to go ahead and turn the Galaxy S3 off, power off, okay. To manually get into recovery, and this is the same on all devices, just hold the power button, power off, okay. And as soon as it vibrates and turns off completely, you'll need to hold volume up, home, and power at the same time until you see recovery booting. Do not let go until you see recovery booting, and then let go once you see it. So volume up, home, power, and we're going to see uh, rebooting recovery at the top left. There we go. We see it. We'll let go. And now we should get into that new custom recovery that we installed. Uh, keep in mind that, you know, that's going to update the recovery if there is an update available. So it's always good to have the latest version of Torp Recovery, Team Win. So one thing is you're going to lose everything when you install this ROM. You're going to lose everything. So I recommend going to backup, backing up boot, system, data. Uh, you can choose the next two options. It's up to you for the... Uh, location I set mine to go to the micro SD card and then you just press OK and then enable compression for a smaller file size and also I, I typed in like s3 cm10 one and then I press go and that's that's what it'll name the backup it'll see at the top there whatever name you choose it and then swipe to back up that way you don't lose anything and before you wipe if you want to have all your apps backed up then also use Sotinia Backup, batch backup everything, and then reboot to recovery and follow along with this video. I'll put a link to my Sotinia Backup video below in case you're curious on how to backup stuff. But So I'm trying to shorten this video up. We're going to go to Wipe, Advanced Wipe, Dalvik, System, Data, Cache. So Dalvik Cache, System, Data, and Cache. The internal storage, uh, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it to free up space. So there we go, we got those options checked, and swiping to back up. And then also one more thing is another thing you don't have to do, but I always do it just to free up space, is I do the format data. So when you format the internal, I don't know if, I, I just like making sure that everything's formatted and everything's fresh. That way when I go to install, when I go to be in my new ROM, that everything is nice and clear. Uh, nice and clean so do not install that's just telling me that my ROM is not rooted and it's asking me if I want to root it 
but I just wiped the system, so there's no OS at all right now. So it will not reboot the system if you want it to. So when this starts back up, we're going to go to install. Alrighty, install. And uh, we put the ROM on the external storage, the micro SD card. So up here, we're going to choose micro SD, press OK. And then right here, you'll see CM10.2 nightly you uh whenever this is a stable version you could just flash the stable version and follow along with this video whenever they re uh whenever they push out a release candidate then you can go ahead and follow along with this video and just flash that instead it goes nightly monthly release candidate and then stable so i would flash them in that order if there's a release candidate available flash that if there's a monthly version flash that you know just uh, hopefully you understand so cm10.2 add more zips and without this GApps JB2013-0813 signed zip, you will not have the Google Play Store. So please make sure that you flash that. It should say file 2 of 10. Swipe to confirm flash. And just wait a minute and it'll all flash and be ready to go. So while this is flashing, I, I hopefully I can make this clear to someone out there that's new to flashing ROMs. Uh, we're flashing a nightly, which is kind of, you know, there's chances it has bugs and etc. So uh, if if there's a monthly series available, they update that once a month and it's their most stable build, I would flash that over a nightly. So when you go to like D, the git.cm page and you see your phone, uh, flash a monthly if it's available. And if there's a release candidate, flash that instead of a monthly. And if there's a stable build, flash that instead of the release candidate. It's just, uh, it goes in the order of most stable, really. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer it. So this is the very first boot up after installing CM10.2 Android 4.3 for the Sprint Galaxy S3. And remember, I can't say it enough. If you have a Verizon Galaxy S3, you can still follow along with this video. If you have an AT&T Galaxy S3, you can still follow along with this video. It just goes on and on with all the other carriers that uh, Git.cm has on their thing, which is Sanjumon. All right, so here's the first startup thing where you just sign into your Wi-Fi networks and sign into your Google account and all that good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through all this. All right, here we go. So it's asking me to use my Google account to back up your apps, settings. Awesome. So definitely make sure you have that checked. That way, if you go to another phone, you can restore your stuff or if you redo your ROM. So I just, I just leave everything the default thing, keep up to date with news, except for that one, and then go to the next one. All right, so it's asking you for your, to put who the phone belongs to. Phone is set up and ready to go. All right, so this is Android 4.3. You're not going to notice anything huge right away. Unfortunately, Travis just stopped. Uh, it's probably going to take a, a reboot or two for it to fully become stable, but... Uh, yeah, Focal? What the heck is Focal? Oh, it's their new camera app. That's cool. It's got like uh, PicSphere facing, video, panorama, photo. So let's put it on video. And then you press menu or not. Looks like the camera's frozen at the moment. But there there you go. Uh, again, this is a nightly. The next nightly, they could fix the camera issue. So the, And it also comes with the default one, which does seem like it's working. Put it on video mode. And there, Yeah, that's working too. So, and then you could just, you know, turn the flash on. <laughs> So there you have it, folks. Android 4.3 on the Sprint Galaxy S3. This is not the review. It's just simply the how to install. Um, <laughs> uh, having a little bit of issues here to get your developer options to show up. Just um, go to the build number. I didn't mean to do that one. By the way, 
if uh, this ROM isn't working out for you, like say there's a feature you have to have and it's not working yet, in the description below I will link to my video on how to flash your Galaxy S3 back to 100% stock with your flash counter reset. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna link to the Sprint video, but inside the description of that video, you'll be able to pick out the one for the AT&T, the Roger, Bell, all the other carriers that Billard412 has supported with his neat little thing, so. I mean, obviously there's issues, so they're gonna get worked out. This is a nightly, this is not, you know, this is leading edge right here. Like I was trying to say earlier, once you see an M series available, I would install that. And then later on down the line, when a release candidate, RC, is available, definitely install that. That'll be pretty freaking stable. And then whenever you see stable, flash that. So if you're having issues with this ROM, you can either go back to CM 10.1.2, which is 100% stable, smooth as butter, or you can go back to TouchWiz if you really want to. Pull the battery out, <laughs> put it back in, case back on it, and that's it. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button right next to the like button. I'm going to be doing videos on the HTC One, Galaxy S4, the Note 2, the Note 3 when that comes out. Also, I'm getting the Moto X. Tons and tons of videos coming very soon. I'm officially back. My daughter's in school, and I have five days a week, eight hours each day to do videos. So, yeah. If you're excited, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you really, really want to, hit, you know, go ahead and add this video to your favorites. And, uh, yeah, just click add to and choose favorites. And it'll, if your Twitter and your YouTube are linked up, I'll get a notification on Twitter that you liked or favorited my video, and I'll appreciate it. So, that's it. This is what we Josh do, and I'm out. Now we have developer options. We can enable USB debugging and whatever other options you want to enable in here.